three, two, one. Welcome to the McCracken Person Show. This time, I'm joined by good friend, Willem Dryden. That's right. <laughs> Willem, how are you doing, man? <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm getting to see your beautiful face today, Mac. You know, I've been, what is it now? A couple of days without it? <laughs> yes, know? it's been a we couple days. We saw each other this weekend. Yeah, that was actually a really good time. It was, you know. It was good. I didn't, I'm coming back to Chattanooga in a couple of weeks, actually. So, you know, mm. we're going to see each other again. I've, they've got this Indeed. flight. There's a flight called uh, on Allegiant that flies on Chattan- to Chattanooga from Orlando Thursdays and Sundays. So it's like this perfect, like, kind of I can be down there for a weekend, and it's really cheap, and it's That's a direct right. flight. So, yeah. That is optimal, honestly. I know. I, mean, I know. And with no classes Fridays, I could just, you know, come down whenever I want. Oh. And we can go to perfect. Coolidge Park. Indeed. Yes. <laughs> and get our ice cream and hit up Plumpies. Off. Yes. You know, be confused as to which door we're going to come out of. Hey, these are confusing times. I didn't know ice they cream are. would take the hit. I did not know <laughs> ice cream would take the hit. But maybe good dog next time. Maybe. Maybe we'll actually be hungry next time. Have you ever been? Yes. It was like 9 a.m. or something. Have you ever been to Good Dog? Yeah, Good Dog's good, dude. Yeah, it's great. I've only been there like a couple of times, but what are your thoughts on hot dogs in general? Because like, aren't if they're not good hot dogs, they can have some sketchy ingredients. Listen, <laughs> all hot dogs have some <laughs> sketchy ingredients. I mean, like, honestly... It tastes, if it tastes good, I don't really care, you know? I mean, like. Cause if you you're know, getting like ballpark wiener dogs, like, I don't even know if they're meat at that point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like 50% I, edible plastic that's just been yeah. shredded into microscopically. <laughs> Dude, the microplastics. The microplastics. Was it like an estrogen replacement or estrogen like? <laughs> Something like that, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Destroying the ocean, right? Microplastics? Right. Dude. We can get Jack on as a console, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Biology. Oh, imagine that. He's like ocean biology, right? I thought he was like just environmental science. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, ocean biology. Ocean, ocean biology. biology. Is that a major? That'd be cool. You know, when I went to, my dad would always take me to the, uh, it was called Myrtle Beach in like South Carolina, and they had a uh, sea turtle, like aquarium museum, like habitat, like a bunch I of scientists. I think I went there in like fifth grade. It's a good time. Like, is there like a four H place there? Four H. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. It's like some like environment. It's like some like. I think it's a it's biome. Some, like. Uh, organization that like gets kids involved with like nature and animals and stuff. They do a bunch of stuff. I'll I'll put it in the when this goes on YouTube. I'll yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll I'll put it down. You can edit it in post. Or... I say That's I always say <laughs> yes. I always say on the videos that I'm gonna edit it in post. I never. I always say like I'm gonna add this picture. I might eventually one day. You know. My editor was actually watching. He didn't edit the. Uh, Nicholas Stepanov episode, but he was watching Sorry. it, and he was disappointed in my lack of Lord of the Rings book knowledge. Oh, we did a Lord of the Rings marathon. Uh, it was my idea. Mm-hmm. Started at nine p.m. Also my idea. Right. Stay, and knowing this, we would stay up to eight a.m. Right. You know, optimally. And, and uh, you know me. Once it gets past midnight, I'm struggling. So, <laughs> I actually, <laughs> I did some convincing to get them all to watch it. All, all of our sweet mates, all four of us. And uh, I turned in at 1 a.m. <laughs> mm. So I got like a quarter of the way into the second film. So uh, Not necessarily a good look there. Max. And now I have no rights whatsoever when it comes to like making plans in that kind of way. As it should be. As it should be probably. Listen, man, Lord of the Rings marathons are mighty task. It was extended uh, edition, truly. too. Yeah. 
goodness. Did your swing mates, did they stay up for it? They did. And wow. I woke up in the morning Sherpers. and I, they, were, they were still watching it. Wow. <laughs> Inspiring. Did. So, what's going on? I, I need to do a, I don't know if this is kosher in a podcast style, but uh, what's what? going on behind you? <laughs> is that a oh, what's going on behind question? Oh, uh, this is just like, so basically kind of when I moved back in with my parents, because I'm going to UTC now. Uh, uh, Listeners, yeah, 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 for context. Yeah. I, I try to dox myself here. Um, mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, they just kind of like gave me what we used to call the study nook, as a because it was kind of where my mom would study when she was going back to school. Um, what did your mom uh, study? She went back for like psychology, and now she's a clinical therapist. Um, so yeah she would study in here and they were just like you can move all your stuff in there and like that way you're not in the kitchen you're sleep and you're sleeping on the floor i guess oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no i have a bedroom <laughs> floor sleeping is a thing i think i'm not gonna yeah, do it right now I mean... but it's kind of a fad i think for a little bit in certain circles i think those circles might be people that enjoy being uncomfortable Maybe or can't afford bed, so either type. Yeah, but it's like uh, you know, got your little study, got your nook. I, I got my nook, you know. <laughs> I, there's also just like a bunch of like, there used to be a bunch of paint supplies. There's just a ladder back there, you know. That's where we keep the ladder. Um, <laughs> but if you ever need to reach something. Yeah, yeah. There's a big bookcase here, you know. I mean, you can't see because of the camera, but it actually goes. Hundreds yeah, of feet. <laughs> hundreds of feet. That's what the uh, ladder's for. Um, it's like the bookcase, the bookshelf. I was and... conscripted to move the paint all downstairs, so I moved it. And they brought up a bunch of garbage from our basement and put it in my space instead of the paint. <laughs> so that's what's oh going goodness. on behind me. I – do you normally keep your room, like – are you like a clean room kind of guy? Hell no. <laughs> I did my laundry like last weekend and I just like threw my clothes on the ground. Just, like, <laughs> picking them up. Like in anger. On. Like, like, bah, in anger. I was this. like, dude, ugh. I hate coronavirus. I hate it. it sucks. Uh, is this also your gaming room? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't actually really do any studying here. <laughs> it's called The Study. You study film yeah. for all your games. That's you right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I study how that wasn't a headshot. <laughs> you still playing Rainbow? I know last time we played Rainbow, you were taking a break. I was. And I feel like I've been enjoying it more. Okay, I'm okay. Back. new character, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is yeah. Gadget. He can shoot like a He's got like a glue gun or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he sticks you to the wall and then you can't move. Uh, he's got the, he's no. got the he's got the explosive uh, drone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got spider drone. He's got spider, spider drone. drone. Just yes, finally, wall, you know, you be you finally um, did it. <laughs> Todd Howard, <laughs> but no, no, his real gadget is he can he's got a little camera that shoots through walls, reinforced or not, he can like zap stuff. And when's the sound engine rework coming? Couldn't be coming soon enough. (laughs) Dude. Dude. I mean, I don't know. That's a pretty big rework. I mean, the sound engine is is quite a quite a hefty engine. What does that even mean? Like, I feel like you have to completely like. It's got to be a complete re yeah overhaul, dude. Yeah. Just go into all the sound files and just change a couple numbers around. Right. Could it be too hard? Just make the three speeds louder and make the three armors quieter. <laughs> yes. Sound fixed. Just actually just replace the numbers between them. Right. Make that would balance it out. <laughs> yes. Make Rook just complete like a ninja. Dude, yes. But, you know, I've got my PS4 here in terms of gaming. I just deleted Modern Warfare because 
So it was taking up 200 gigabytes. It, it's actually 200 <laughs> gigabytes. And like the PS4, my poor PS4 can't, can't handle it, dude. What does it got? A, a meager 256 It's gigabyte. got 201 gigabytes of space. So. Wow. Just enough for modern warfare. <laughs> just enough. Just enough for modern warfare and maybe a couple save files for it. Yeah, yeah. So what do you yep. do? You just download it and then you play for a day and you <laughs> yeah, uninstall exactly. it. And the next day, overnight, you reinstall all your... Good games. Yes. There's a new Modern those. Warfare coming out. I mean, not there new is. Warfare. There's a new Cold Call. War. Yeah. Cold War. Yes. Willem, you're in the know of Call of Duty. Only because of the memes that are like, I want you to send crack into black neighborhoods and it's Ronald Reagan. <laughs> uh, that's really all I know that Call of Duty from. Oh, <laughs> uh, geez. Oh, man. If Ronald Reagan's in it. I he mean, is, he w- dude. Yeah, but I don't know. He's... CGI Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Asking oh, you to... Man destabilized <laughs> foreign democracies <laughs> my roommate is the biggest ronald reagan hater uh, Daniel, <laughs> he was on the show and our uh fraternity talk up epsilon our like mascot is like ronald reagan not really mascot but like our patron saint i would say patron is saint. <laughs> right yeah. So, is there a reason for that, or did you you guys just like? Well, Ronald Reagan went was a teak, a tall cap epsilon. He was in our fraternity. Uh, Dude, I didn't know presidents were allowed to be in fraternities. <laughs> Dude, not. <neither. laughs> did he come hang out with the boys every weekend? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think part of it he wanted to uh, change the U.S. flag to uh, Saturdays are for the boys flag, <laughs> <laughs> but. Ronald Reagan was a teak, and like he's a lot, on a lot of promotional stuff. Uh. And uh, me and my roommate are not fans of Ron Reagan, so it's always like <gasps> my roommate says that if he had uh, not, if he had seen that, he wouldn't have joined. <laughs> I, he says it jokingly, but that maybe there's a piece of it. I mean, you guys he's happy to... he's in now, and we don't know Ronald Reagan. No, really. Does he not nope. come by? Does he no, he doesn't, he doesn't come by UCF and, you know. Is Ronald Reagan even still alive? He's not, is he? I don't no, think he so. He is. Is he? I'm pretty sure he's not alive. I'd be sad, I suppose. Definitely. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But, you know. We'll get Jack on his history console, too. Yes, dude. I'm not taking history class probably ever again. That stuff is beyond me, really. But, but the human body, that's easy. Oh, did. How's stats going for you? Still still easy? How's stats? Uh, I don't know how they do it, but the like the notes and like the like the descriptions of the material is always like ten times harder. It's like freaking the law of multiplication, like you gotta like make sure that you get all this this and then you do it and it's just like just just multiply the chances together yeah and i'm like that's it like <laughs> i like the explanation like, like the upside so down bad. U, like the a what are those right, called what, what's that it's like can like they cross over intersection intersection yeah dude all i only know is the formulas and like kind of what they mean I can interpret a graph. Well, hey, that was like our first two weeks. So did <laughs> you're off to a good start. Histograms, Histograms bar graphs, bar graphs, easy, easy stuff. <laughs> totally different, apparently. I never yes. knew. Histograms also exist. I learned. I didn't know. Uh, I've been told to make histograms before. Oh yeah, for like physics uh, or something. Yeah, stuff like that. Bo- boring stuff like that. Boring, boring. <sighs> I just signed up for my spring classes. I've got oh. some fun stuff. Do you want me to tell you? Please tell me, Mac. Uh, this stuff, dude. One of them, I've got a coaching football class that's three credit oh! hours. <laughs> Gonna be the next Bill Belichick or the next Adam Gaze? Probably the next Adam Gaze. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, dude. Oh man, Bengals Jets. Oh. Matchup of the year. Matchup of the year. When is that? Thursday. That's uh, Broncos Jets Thursday. Oh, it's Broncos Jets. Gotcha. <laughs> I thought it was Bengals Jets. I, I, I would watch that because I'm curious about Joe Burrow. 
You know he's on pace to be the most sacked quarterback in NFL history? Really? <laughs> yeah. He got sacked like eight times when he played the Eagles. It's not a good look. It's still tied because the Eagles suck this year. <laughs> The Eagles suck. Carson Wentz sucks. <gasps> I thought Carson Wentz was amazing for like the last two years. And I just, but the Eagles suck. I never Dude. bought it. I never bought into the you hype. never bought into no. the Carson Wentz hype? No. Maybe I listen to too much Colin Coward. He loves. I do listen to too much Colin Coward. It's not a maybe, but maybe I'm letting him get too much into my brain because he Your loves brain? Carson Wentz. And he loves Sam Darnold. <laughs> oh. But. Perhaps he just doesn't have the best taste in quarterbacks. Did you see the true match? He looked well. He's a big Russell Wilson guy, so uh, he's well, got that. I mean, yeah, how could you not be? True. Did you see the supposed matchup of the year last night? Uh some of it. it okay. Didn't okay. Seem like it was uh, the best game of the year. So it did far, that's for sure. Uh Patrick Mahomes. Kinda... I watched all of it. Lamar Jackson. Left up. He passed for 35 yards in the first half. That's never a good sign. Dude, it, I mean, there were some drops, but it was still, dude, there is one pass that Mahomes had where he hit McCall Hardman. Like, I think he got like, the stat was like, he got like eight blitzes and like, he got blitzed like eight times and he just destroyed it every time. Like none of them worked. Or maybe yeah. one of them worked. Mm-hmm. And he got blitzed, and he threw, like, a 50-yard, like... I saw that one. Touchdown to, like, sick. McCall Hardman. Yeah. It was so sick. He just, like, backs up, like, ten, like actually 10 yards yeah. away from the blitz. And just, just slings it downfield up. so far. That little I, shovel pass to the fullback uh, for that, that touchdown. That was awesome. That caught me off guard. I thought that was impromptu. I was yeah. like, whoa! He just, like, shoveled it to the fullback. Dude, he makes but it look so easy. Back. It makes it look so easy. Player. He does. He's a good one, you know. He is, he's a man amongst boys, Patrick Mahomes. I mean, they, who, who, who's going to beat him? Who do you think is going to beat the Chiefs? I mean, honestly, I just want to see Seahawks Chiefs. Mm-hmm. Uh, Seahawks won last year because of Russell Wilson. So if Russell Seahawks. Wilson can outduel Patrick okay. Mahomes. Listen, the Seahawks are looking real good. I want to see a Seahawks Packers NFC Championship. Mm. I want to see a Seahawks Tampa Bay Buccaneers Championship. Right, right, right. So you don't have to do a 24 hour stream. And Tom Brady, Russell Wilson, the rematch? I mean, it's just not the same, you know? It's not the same. One of them's really old. It's true. One of them is uh, an MVP. <laughs> <laughs> Russell Wilson has like 15 touchdown passes or like something like that. That's already. insane. It's insane. No, he threw for like, he's like the only player to throw for five touchdowns in like consecutive games. Fuck. So that two offense, of them were five. So he's, that like offense is there. terrifying. No, it's insane. And, and their defense is like, the defense gets turnovers. I mean, they're not really like good at stopping, but like they have Jamal Adams, I guess. Yeah, but he's safety. hurt now. Good, good. You see that dirty tackle on my boy, Chris Carson? <laughs> dude, yeah, dude, that was crazy. Tristan Hill, dog. Bastard. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Did I say that on the podcast, or is that gonna get bleeped out? Am, uh, I, have to, am, am I getting fined? You have a certain number of okay, bombs, okay. and. Right. Before we get demonetized. Yes, by... Chris Carson getting hurt is definitely mm-hmm. worth worthwhile for, sure. for one. My boy. But I think the Bucks are actually, you know, lost to the Saints, I guess. But that was week one, and they didn't really have their no preseason. So listen, I think the they're first really couple good team. weeks of the preseason, basically. Yeah. Listen, I never said the Bucks aren't a good team. I just said they're not an NFC championship team. It's close. I feel like, I mean. If Aaron Rodgers keeps going off like he's doing now, and the Packers keep playing amazing, Aaron Jones is going off, too. You think that the Bucks can beat the Seahawks or the Packers or the Saints? Or I think they can beat the Saints again. I'm excited for that rematch. So? I think they can. What do you think about 
how they match up against the Rams? Because the Rams have been kind of like, I'm gonna be honest. You weren't all, you weren't a fan of the Rams at the beginning. I'm of not the a fan of the Rams. I think I they're mean, good. Like the Rams, they made the Super Bowl two years ago and got their little Ram cheeks clapped by <laughs> Bill Belichick. And an incredibly boring Super Bowl that nobody oh, really enjoyed watching. Incredibly boring. And everyone's like, oh, no, this is, this is sophisticated football. And I was like, no, <laughs> it's not. I don't watch football for sophisticated football. I watch it to see big, burly men run into each other. <laughs> Agreed. Get CTE. <laughs> but um, the Rams last year kind of sucked, not going to lie. <laughs> they did. But this year, you know. They're doing well. I mean, they beat the Cowboys. Not super impressive, I think. Well, I don't know. I think the Cowboys are... The Cowboys and the Falcons are two teams where I'm just like, listen, you can beat them, but they could beat, like, any team in the league. Like, they have the talent, too. Um, So, I put some respect on any win over the Falcons or the Cowboys. I am... I'm putting way less into a win over the Falcons. I mean... Really? I mean, to be fair, their defense is like uh, freaking Big Ten defense, like non-existent. <laughs> but Dude, I mean, they're off the Bears, like, man. They did. That was – the Falcons have not been – probably not be their head coach anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Two 15-point fourth quarter leads blown. It's oh. twenty eight to three all over again. It 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 really is, dude. That's oh man, <sighs> what a collapse. That, that's so crazy. Chilly. Me and I was back home in Chattanooga during the uh, Cowboys Falcons game, and me and my mom were watching it on TV, and we're like, "Oh, let's go Falcons!" And uh, we were got dinner that night before I left on my plane, my Sunday night one hundred dollar ticket straight mm. from. Orlando. From Chattanooga to Florida. From Chattanooga to Florida. Yes, Allegiant not a sponsored Airlines. by Allegiant. Uh, Lee Stadium, by the way. Allegiant Stadium. <gasps> Las Vegas. Is, that, uh, uh, is it? Is yes, it the new one in Las Vegas. 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 Oh. I only uh, know about the SoFi one. Uh-huh. But uh, we were getting dinner. And we were just – they didn't have it on TV. So we're like – on the way there, we're like, dude, the Cowboys are going to make it a comeback. And then <laughs> and we were like – I hope they don't. No, there's no way. <laughs> and like the Falcons, classic Falcons. If there's a will, classic there's a way. Falcons. <laughs> they had like a ninety-nine point nine percent chance and a ninety-nine point three percent chance, and they blew them both. <laughs> did oh my goodness. And the Bills, like, did you see the Rams? The Bills were up twenty-eight to three. Right, they were. They almost against got the Rams, and they almost three. lost that. They almost did. They came Josh back. Allen. Josh Allen's kind of going off. Yeah, he is. Uh, like, I haven't really seen any of his games or anything, but people are saying he's an game. MVP quarter, uh, MVP candidate. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it's way too early to say that. I don't know. Russ the, and Mahomes and Rogers. The Bills are good though. Good. The Bills are sneaky Bills are good. good. They were They're good last good. year, and they, they could be even better this year if Josh Allen keeps playing like he does. I like, want to see them play the Patriots. Ooh, that'll be good. Patriots, I did not expect them to be this good. No? I think we've proved that Bill Belichick was the, <laughs> the thing that was good all along. It wasn't yes, really tough yes, exactly. Either. Bill Belichick is the greatest mastermind in football. He could have been a Jets coach, Mac. He could have. And <laughs> here we would be talking about the Jets dynasty. Now you've got butthole Adam Gaze. Butthole Adam Gaze, dude. Hopefully Screw you, Adam longer. Gaze. <laughs> Hopefully for not much longer. No, but only another. What is it now? Two days. Four yeah. days. Fired Broncos? after a How good are the Broncos? disappointing loss to the third string quarterback for the Broncos. Yeah, Drew Lock got hurt. Drew Lock got hurt. I heard that Drew Gr- Jeff Jeff Driscoll got Jeff hurt as Driscoll. well. And who's the new? Co- who's the third string? I think it's Blake Bortles. I think they signed Ooh. Blake Bortles. <laughs> oh man, Blake Bortles. A throwback. <sighs> Maybe so. The Jets have a chance to win, you know. Maybe the Jets should get Trevor Lawrence. Mm. 
screw Even you, Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I was ever bought in on Sam Darnold. I just. <sighs> you think I can use the draft pick to get a real head coach? I just wished he would. I I never thought Sam Darnold was good. I just wished he was good. So I was just like trying to manifest it by saying like, "Oh, Sam Darnold's so good." Dude, Sam Darnold, he's seen ghosts. Oh. He's seen ghosts. <laughs> Dude, Lamar Jackson was seeing ghosts against the nice. against the Chiefs. Did you see he just tweeted out, or Adam Schefter tweeted out that uh, Lamar Jackson said, yeah, the Chiefs are our kryptonite, and they are. And he said, they have the same defensive plan against us as the Titans. So Lamar Jackson basically just saying, pay attention. This is how you beat us. Yeah, uh, NFL teams. Uh... Watch this film. <laughs> What they did, they pretty much – I was watching some, like, discussion of it on Reddit because I don't really know, like, I football theory either. that well. No. But they I like talk- to pretend like I understand football. But Dude. then they're like – they're in nickel formation here. You can <laughs> tell this guy's rushing, and I'm like, you yep. got it, Tony Dude, Romo. You got sure. it. <laughs> it's hard. Like, I think you have to, like, either really study the footage. Like, you really have to watch film mm-hmm. or you have to, like, be a player. Right. But listen – Anyway, I was going to say that I think what basically they did was stop the run and make Lamar Jackson have to throw. It's not very good for a running no, back. He, you know, yeah. So. Uh, uh, so, I mean, he's a decent thrower, but if you just make him rely on throwing, you're going to. But the plays I saw, it seemed like he, he overthrew a little bit to his receivers. Uh-huh. Exactly. And the deep balls. And, but, you know, I'm taking coaching football. I was about to say, mm-hmm. maybe. Yeah. Uh, you could this... replace Adam Gaze after that. I mean, that's Dude. probably about as much training as he has. A three credit hour. It certainly looks like it. Class, board. it's like it only meets once, and it's like for two hours on a Monday. So, what do you guys do? Like review? Are you like just manual labor for the? Dude, I have no idea. Team? I don't review know. their footage. Dude. For them, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do. The like, but number sixteenth ranked UCF Knights or whatever it is. I think it's the, we're eleven now. I wow. think we're eleven. What after... happened? Another another five teams dropped out of the season <laughs> due to COVID concerns. Yeah, at first when I first looked at the preseason like AP poll, I was like, wait, why are there so many? Oh right! Like the Big Ten is not playing. <laughs> right? Yeah. I was like, "What is so wrong with this?" Oh man! It's like Tennessee's in there, and you're like, "What the heck?" <laughs> uh, who's number one? Because I know it's not Alabama. Number one. The Clemson. I think it's Clemson. Probably Clemson because they still have Trevor Lawrence. I think it goes. Clemson, Alabama. Uh, I think Florida just got put at number three. Oh my! Which is surprising. Not, not the Bulldogs. Not the Bulldogs. I think Georgia's four. Georgia's four, and then I think LSU's five. I'm surprised, dog. LSU lost like I know their entire team. They lost. Wasn't Clyde Edwards Hilaire on yeah. LSU? He was he's, there running. He's back. tearing it up, dude. I mean, I think just they every lost Justin Jefferson. Mm-hmm. He's on the Vikings. He he was like seven for one seventy five and a touchdown yeah. against the was was it was the Titans this week? Yeah. Yeah. They lost that Jeff Burrow guy or whatever his name is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That that guy I I don't know. I don't but know. Yeah. dude, I feel like Andy Reid. I mean, Clyde edwards helaire was really good, but like he could just make anyone a superstar. I mean, in that offense, like you have to cover like. Actually, everyone. Yeah. Like, you look at some other offenses. Even the left tackle. They threw a touchdown to the left tackle. They did. That's crazy. But, like, yeah. It's just crazy. Like, you've got so many weapons there. Like, Mm -hmm. you got LR. You've got Kelsey. You've got Hill. You've got Nicole Hardman. You've got Patrick Mahomes' legs, you know? (laughs) Yeah. He can beat you with him. Yeah. Uh, Not like Tyree Kill, though. I saw a tweet. I mean, this... Kareem Hunt. <laughs> he, he can certainly Am beat I you with his legs. That? <laughs> no, that's, that's allowed. That's allowed. <laughs> he can beat you with his legs. 
<laughs> there were so many funny jokes about that when it came out. Dude, I felt so yeah, bad laughing all, at it. All the fantasy football subreddits were like, dude, can we designate Kareem Hunt as a kicker now? <laughs> oh, man. But he's tearing it up with the Browns, though. Yeah, I saw a tweet that said uh, Chiefs offensive linemen have as many uh, receiving touchdowns as Eagles receivers. Ooh. <laughs> what happened Happy to the life. Eagles this year? What is happening to the Eagles? I think they play the Steelers, the Ravens, and the 49ers next. Oh, they're going to be 0-5-1? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Wh- why? How does that happen? Why? I mean, were the Eagles ever good? I mean, they won a Super Bowl, yeah, but like... <laughs> I don't know. Nick Foles was clearly the t- the reason that team was winning. I mean, dude, Nick Foles, greatest backup of all time. The magical energy of Nick Foles, dude. He almost did it again. He's doing it again with the Bears. Yes, Mr. Trubisky is gone. You think he'll ever? You think Mr. Yeah, Mr. Trubisky is just done. Hopefully. I mean, Hopefully. He uh, was never really good. I don't know why the Bears stuck with him this long. I don't know why they got him just... to pick him. I mean, I, everyone's like, dude, they picked him over Mahomes. And then everyone's like, but Mahomes was like a, he was a risky pick. Like, he was a risky pick, yeah. Sean was. Watson was on the board. <laughs> <laughs> he would have fit so much better than Mitchell Trubisky. Oh, man. Like, imagine the Bears with the Sean Watson. That'd be a good team. They probably would have freaking won the Super Bowl. That sounds like, like uh, kind of like Russell Wilson when he had the Legion of Boom. Like mo- uh, mobile, uh, yeah. like and that's what they want Trubisky to defense. be. Like every once in a while, Trubisky runs. No, yeah, but it's just all of Trubisky's successes are just Matt Nagy successes. All of his successes have just smooths over. Quarter. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Matt Nagy is the only reason Trubisky lasted this long. I think because he's a really good coach. Yes, uh, I think. What was I gonna say? But uh, I feel bad for Deshaun Watson with Dog. stinky Bill, Bill O'Brien, O'Brien. Actually, trolled him. <laughs> he did. He's getting. Tra- <laughs> he literally just trolled him. Like, <laughs> imagine being Deshaun Watson. You get that call. Uh, hey, Deshaun. Uh, what's up, Bill? <laughs> uh, I traded away DeAndre Hopkins. What? Wh- who'd we get? Uh, David Johnson. David Johnson? What do you mean, David Johnson? <laughs> he hasn't been good for two years. He has not. the best wide receiver in the league. Yeah. For David Johnson. <laughs> and now he's popping off in Arizona. I I really want Arizona to do well, but they lost to the Lions this week. That's just – that's not a good look. That's not a good look. I think it's because it's Kyler Murray's young, so like – But he's got spurts so. of greatness. He's got spurs, he so like you. You look I at this really guy like when good. he gets a good run, and you're like, "Oh man, this guy could be really good." I want him to be good, you know. I feel like they can be good. I feel like they got the pieces. Mm-hmm. They strike me as a team who will like make it in as a wild card, and then like, dude, upset somebody. If you're making it in as a wild card, that's a it's a loaded division. You got 49ers, Seahawks, Rams. 49ers, Seahawks, Rams, Cardinals. Cardinals? That's. <clears throat> That's the toughest division in football right there. And then you got, on the opposite side of the country, the NFC East, Giants, Washington <laughs> football team. That's right. Eagles, Washington Cowboys. Team. Washington football team atop the division at one and two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That division is not good. That was a needed name change. The, the new name? I don't know. Washington football team? Still better than the old It's a little weird. Name. You can't use, like the like last name it's not like jaguars football team it's like you have to use the whole thing like yeah yeah uh, i'm surprised they didn't change it like before the season started mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but maybe they just didn't really want to own up to this season uh, yeah yeah they're still figuring it out you know oh man there are they're some fixing bad the teams culture. Fixing they, the culture. good good ron rivera get in there and fix the uh, losing culture you hear that he got like an IV at halftime? Really? 
for his What's cancer going? treatment. Yeah, he's sure. undergoing like cancer treatment. He's got an IV, I think, just for like rehydration and stuff. But then you get in one of those like rolling IV bags mm-hmm. that he can take along the sideline. I need to get one of those mm-hmm. so I can rehydrate after, you know, a long dude, workout. Once you're a doctor, dude, or a long you can gaming just session, pop, pop into the <laughs> hospital and pop in an IV. Hey, yo, nurse, can you? Come hang a, hang a bag of normal saline for me. Hey, yo, Willow, can you come in here and... <laughs> hang me a banana bag? <laughs> I mean, why do we need to wait to do that? Probably because neither of us can put it in an IV, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's YouTube tutorials for that kind of stuff. We just got to find that uh, those hospitals with, like, the, the infrared lights that, like, go over the arm and, like, show where all the veins are. That's so cool. It is. It's so cool. I'm going to be honest, there's some nurses that are cheeks of drawing blood out there. Have you ever given blood? <laughs> no, but I've had it drawn many times. Well, I get you. I get you. Uh, oh. for, for medical reasons, you know, yes. I have uh, <laughs> bad genes, you know, uh, <laughs> autoimmune diseases over here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But I'd like to give blood. I think, I, think cool. I need to give blood because my red count was high last time. And my doctor was just like, you know what? She's actually a nurse practitioner, but she's kind of a god. Uh, okay. Shout out to Brandy Biederman. Uh, that oh, was sponsor. hope you're but, watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compassion to healthcare. Yes. Uh, great diabetes educator, endocrinology mm-hmm. person. Uh, she's also just good, you know, good at what she does. Um, but yeah, my like, uh, red blood count was a little high. She was just like, you know what? That's fine. If it's high again next time, we can just like, you could just like give us some blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Get it like, get a cool t-shirt too. Dude, I donated blood and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I saved some poor kid's life and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. Some people really aren't good with blood. Like, I was talking. Really? Yeah. Listen, dog. I'm good with blood. I'm good. I'm great with blood. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like a bloodbender, dude. <laughs> you wouldn't get that reference because you haven't seen Avatar. No, I love that movie. Right, 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 yeah. Are you ready for the sequel, Mac? Dude. And isn't the third, he said the third one is 95% finished. Dude. I thought the second one was 100% finished. No, the second one's 100% finished. And the third one is 95% finished, he oh said. Oh, my. What about the fourth and fifth ones? Dude, remember like two years after Avatar came out, he's like, listen. We're filming all of them right now, and for the next 12 years, every two years, an Avatar movie will come out. He said that. James Cameron said something to that sort. It was a lie! It was a lie! <laughs> Dude, can you name a single character from Avatar? Uh, yeah, I think Sigourney Weaver was in it, you know? Oh, maybe. And I then just, there was the crippled guy who... I just don't get... Why life. is it the most highest-grossing movie of all time, and, like... Simply it's, because it was like, it looked really cool yeah. and like 3D and stuff. And I was and, like, oh my. And then it was immediately like forgotten from the public no, consciousness. Like, yeah. It has no cultural relevance. It really doesn't. It's surprising. It's but now we're getting another four. I mean, <laughs> who cares, dude? I was going to say, yeah. it's why Endgame should hold the title. I mean, it doesn't matter. Who cares about these mega corporations and their money that they're taking from the American public? That's but, right. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Endgame. Second most highest grossing. Way more cultural. Is it first now? I thought it was. I think, didn't they re release it? It should be. Yeah, they re released it with like one extra minute of footage and like all the Marvel fanboys were like, oh my! And they all went and spent another $10 at the movie theater. Yeah. So they can fanboy over Thanos. This massive infinity gauntlet. Dude, Chadwick Boseman. Isn't that so sad? Tragic, yeah. Sudden, too. It's crazy he was fighting cancer, like, filming, like, uh, Endgame and stuff. Like, Yeah. Is, were they filming Black Panther 2? Like, are they, like, were they doing that now? Or, like, was that going to happen? Uh, they said it was going to happen, but it kept getting delayed, I think. And everyone was like, that's weird. And then now everyone kind of knows why. Um, gotcha. Yeah. That's my understanding. It's like the whole Star Wars, like The Last Jedi with like uh 
yeah like cg uh carrie I'm, fisher yeah yeah that's, that's kind of messed up it is kind they, of messed up they like gave a nice send-off to the character and they were like haha she's still alive <laughs> She's Mary Poppins, y'all. <laughs> yeah, dude. That is messed up. They had, like, CG, like, Tarkin. That's right. Who looks bad? I don't know. He didn't I didn't know bad. who Tarkin was, so I didn't know who to look You didn't know who Tarkin was? Well, I, I don't like Star Wars, though. Let me, let me, I'm the last person to... I don't dislike... I, think I got a general idea of who he was. He's just, like, the Grand General or something. Grand Moff? Grand Moff. Yes, Grand Moff. Moff has a title now. Yeah. But um, <sighs> Star Wars. L- listen, S- Star Wars. Star Wars. Here's my thing with Star Wars. I'm gonna keep this short. Turn sweet. Uh, not good. Not good. That's not very good. short. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, man. I mean. The sequels definitely not good. Not good. Really. Isn't there a new Star Wars video game coming out? I think so. Mm-hmm. That's a new Harry Potter video game. Dude, out. I was about to say you've been talking about that, dude. Kind of hype. I don't know anything. Like, what is it? It's like, it's like an, an open, open world, world, right? Like RPG. You're like in Hogwarts in like the 1800s. Oh, so you don't play as Harry or no. Hermione? No. Dude. I think it starts but- in like your. 1800s seventh year or something who's the bad guy still voldemort probably not <laughs> dude voldemort's been he's like existed for like i don't know probably a normal amount of time but he's like a lich right like he can live forever he is basically like a lich he's basically a lich he's well not, not anymore because he's he's dead spoilers he's, he's, uh, he's a tiny shriveled baby wow well, so gross that was very gross I don't know why. And then, like Harry and 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 uh, Dumbledore, are, like literally in heaven, and Dumbledore like points. He's like, "Oh yeah, that thing. That's Dumbledore. That's Voldemort's soul." And Harry's like, "Oh, cool." <laughs> and I just keep walking, cool, bro. <laughs> and it's just like, please save me, <laughs> save me. Oh man, dude. But. So is that a game you're going to get? Are there any games you're, like, Rainbow look, looking forward Seven to, I guess? Rainbow Seven Siege, maybe? Rainbow Seven Siege. Dude, I keep talking about this Rainbow Seven Siege. It needs there's, to happen. A, there's a team at the League of Legends World Championship called Rainbow Seven. Oh. It's not related, I imagine? Uh, not related, no. But did, they should be. Did that happen, LCS? Worlds? Worlds is happening right now. C9 blew it. They didn't make it. Man. No! They my, had like the most dominant my shirt. <laughs> this isn't very good content, Mac. This is to prove that I'm not a fake fan. I'm a fake C9. Right. Well, wrinkled. they had like the best spring split ever and they were completely dominant. And they collapsed the second half of the summer split and didn't make playoffs and didn't oh, even no. make worlds. No. It's, it's not a good luck. Bad luck. Very bad luck. Uh, so besides Black Ops Cold War, I know the game you're looking forward to the most. Gonna play Cyberpunk? I mean, I can customize my genitals. <laughs> and Keanu Reeves is in it. That's another Basically. game that keeps getting delayed. Another game. Did you see that... Uh. Actually, you're not a Switch guy, are you? I'm a Switch guy. I'm a Switch guy. Oh, you're a Switch guy? No. Okay, good. Good. I am. Why would I want an oversized phone to play video games on? <laughs> I have a Switch, and I'm giving it to my little brother because I did not play it enough. And there's like two good games on it. Come at me, Switch lovers. But Mario Odyssey and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild are the only two games on it that are worth playing, in my opinion. Wow. That's a hot take. Not I mean, Super they're... Smash Bros. Ultimate? I mean, like, if you have friends. <laughs> uh, if you don't have friends? I, no, I no, it. no. <laughs> None that play Smash Bros. Just Ultimate. Sweet mates. They it's definitely an important don't play. distinction. Yeah, exactly. It's complete, like, it's a business equation. Right. It's, it's, a, 
it's you're, they're acquaintances. You're partners, in a way. They're partners, partners, yes, exactly. Uh, but you should try that. Try referring to your sweetmates as your partner in public. <laughs> but uh have you been playing among us no and i don't understand the appeal of watching among us either i don't understand the appeal of playing it i mean I take... we as a, a friend group we like that kind of game um i've kind of like the mafia-esque game um, oh, i'm dangerous in those games you are dangerous. Because I'm a pathological liar. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, but like, I don't know. I think part of those games is being in person. It's really fun. I agree. And um, kind of the added, the added depth of there being multiple roles, you know? Mm. I mean, mm. in Among Us, it's just... Apparently, you go to electrical and do something. Yeah, I don't I've, know. I've never even seen footage of it. Like, I think there's only it's just four it's good guys and one bad crewmates guy. Crewmates and imposters, and the crewmates have to run around and like fix the ship. Or the, and the imposters stab them. Stab them. You know, what I the think problem it is. is there's no like there's no like added 3D like aspect. There's no added depth from like like in terms of different... visuals. No, 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 no. In terms of, like, what your character can do. Like, in, uh, in Werewolf, like, there's so much intel gathering and infinite stuff. Infinite possibilities. Right. And, like, you can, like, know other stuff. But in Among Us, it's just, like, me and Mac went into electrical. We're both safe. Or, like, and it's just whoever screams louder is, like, Dude, that I don't is lie, the most... Mac, Mac's looking kind of sus. And we're, like, ah! Mac was ejected. Mac was not the imposter. That's no. the most broken strategy in all of those kind of games. Just talk a lot. Talk loud. Talk, talk loud, loud and talk, talk a lot. Dude, uh, are you speaking of werewolf? Are you on that team, Kent? Of that team of uh, card game makers? Because Kent told me as we left very briefly when I right. went to see him. Kent's making a hard card game. Kent's making a card game. Are you on that team? I've been in the Discord call when it has been discussed. So. Game design. How far along I'm, are you guys? Definitely going to be taking some of the profits. Um, okay, <laughs> good, good. Especially because they're going to be using your likeness. I've heard you're going to model right. every card, even well, the women. Listen, I'm not going to say that I got some cake, but uh, <laughs> I'll say that I got some 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 cupcake back there. Okay, that's just that's all we need. That's all we need. Right. Uh, Maybe I, need, I should get Ken on to discuss this card game and we could play it. It seems like a cool card game, you know. It's kind of his creative outlet during the old quarantine. <laughs> Not game room? You guys don't play games at the game room all day, every day? Mm -mm. No, we just yell at children to put their masks on. Good, good. If my little brother ever comes in there without a mask. I'll uh, smite him. Yes, exactly. I got exactly. Nina. Yes. Oh, I shouldn't say that in the public eye. She really? likes to be called Mrs. Keen. Ooh, okay. Okay. Uh, Can you edit that out in post? Yes. Uh, uh, okay. well, you just give me a clean uh, with static before and static after, uh, with silence right. before and silence after Mrs. Keen, so we can just impose you saying. Okay. It. Okay, ready? Mrs. Keen. Okay, there we go. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> now it'll just go directly over. Uh, <laughs> I mean, with your an incredible editing skills, ew, I'm sure. Listen, I got the Adobe uh, like student bundle mm. for like what? Only one hundred dollars as opposed to the normal two hundred or whatever? no? It's like twelve bucks a month, I think. Oh, okay. And it's normally like way more than that. I think it's like seventy percent off. So do oh math. my. But uh, don't really want to. I went on Premiere <laughs> Pro. Uh -huh. It scared me. It's horrifying. Uh, those things scare me, dog. It's you so horrifying. There's like so ten much. tabs and like. Yeah, exactly. All these buttons and switches. Right. It's terrifying. I basically just got it for. Uh... What did I get? I should probably cancel my subscription. <laughs> if it scares you it scares me it's not good not doing you any good i, I first got it for adobe acrobat so i can edit pdf but i think you can do that normally so i mean 
Who knows? I do have a MacBook There's an Pro. obsession with PDFs in college. <laughs> yes. So, like, you have to turn this in as a PDF. Like, whoa, chill out, bro. Chill out, professor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And same with Word docs. Like, a lot of times I get hit with, like, it has to be a, a Google Doc. Uh, it has to be a Microsoft Word. Right. Yeah. But. I would be yeah. back in Macaulay where the Google Doc is the standard. Good, as it should be. Google Docs is amazing. It is. You can share it with your teacher. You don't have to turn anything in. And it saves automatically. Well, Word kind of does that now. It does do that now. But Google Docs are first. It's true. They were innovators. Yes, yes. I'm using Google Calendar now. Mm. I'm using some, like, Microsoft to-do list as of this week because I kept forgetting stuff. And I was like, <laughs> I'm on to-do list. I tried to do this and it, it, it scared me. Uh, really? Just like, I did. I opened it back up yesterday and I was like, this scares me. This isn't what I want. It was more so that I just wasn't what I wanted. I just wanted something that I could like input dates and times when stuff was there. Microsoft to do is good too. I, I've used both. Uh, I'm using. I like to do it. I've got. It's a happy little noise when I yeah. put a. Look at a this. Mission. I've got. Okay, I need to make sure that, okay. Is there anything on here that I shouldn't have you see? Okay, look. I was backwards. Study anatomy, four hours, what? Podcast with Willem. Podcast with Willem. That'll, our closer will be uh, me hitting that ding and playing the. Ah, uh, uh, the <laughs> It's got a good ding to it too. But, you know, no, I've got, a, I've got a anatomy like quiz I've got a lecture quiz and a lecture exam. Let's do the same day. Well, one two punch there. I know, right? <laughs> Yikes. What um, what what's what are they over, Mac? That's why I'm studying for four hours. So Oh, you know you're not sure yet? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like more in depth like muscles and more in depth uh uh, nervous system because we just did an overview of muscles and nervous system so we could go more in depth muscles are complicated dude you got your especially these your sarcomeres <laughs> got a lot of sarcomeres in there mac i've got some sarcomeres i've got a few t tubules sarcoplasma particularly yep flex on me with your knowledge of muscles I'm getting I'm, the, both the anatomy and the physiology side of muscles. Yes. I'm also taking like a personal fitness class. Mm. So You're I'm finally taking health into your own hands, Mac. You know? <laughs> yes. I'm doing all my kinesiology electives. So it's like personal fitness, coaching football, facts and fallacies and exercise and nutrition. Now I can just oh. – there's a lot of facts. There's a lot of fallacies in uh, nutrition and exercise because people want to make money. It's true. And you make money by telling people that this new product will give you a six pack in six days. It's true. It's called a, a Sharpie. You just draw it right on. Yes. Yes. Or have you ever seen those like muscle ab stimulators? Uh, that shit I don't trust, dog. It, you just like place a thing in your stomach and just like vibrate. Doesn't work. That's a total. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe it has other purposes, but. <laughs> Definitely not for, for getting a six pack. Certainly not. No. The only way to do that is hard work and determination. Uh, <laughs> yes. Or starving yourself. Genetics. Starving yourself works too. I hear. That's that works. But uh, gotta starve away the external oblique and all you got is the rectus abdominis right there basically. yes yes completely starve away the external oblique uh but willem back it was can i just say it was an honor to be even considered to be on the mac post and show oh man dude i need to get you back on again let alone to come on i'm running out of guests I'm not, but I'm running out of guests. Uh, I will. I will run out of guests eventually. And I like you so much. I want to bring you back on. Wow. Maybe. 
our podcast could be part of my 24 hour stream perhaps because that is our bet to those who are listening right. that Willem and sure. I have a bet that I think the Buccaneers will get into the championship, the NFC championship. And he thinks they won't. And we've got some other external conditions, but external basically conditions. if they make the Super Bowl, I have to play what is it? Six hours or eight hours? I can never remember. I think it was six. Six hours. I think it was six. Of solo rainbow six. And, and they don't even they make don't the playoffs. They don't even make the playoffs. Mac has to play six hours of Rainbow Six. He can play it with the boys, though. I'll, I'll play it with the boys. But, it, but it'll be miserable because that it game will. I get DC all crash. the time. You'll crash every game and you'll have to reopen it. <laughs> yes, yes. But I have a sneaking suspicion that they will make the playoffs. So. Yes, so do I. Especially oh, now that no. more, more teams are in now, right? Good. It's like a 17. It? Like yeah. seven on each side. Huh. Maybe. What does that look like? What is a seven... I don't know. Six, two teams had buys. Is one more team going to have a buy? Oh, my. I can't be right. Oh, yeah. Let's look it up. Let's do some research here. 2020 NFL playoff record. Oh, no. Just one team gets a buy. Oh, my. Oh, I, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Dude. Oh my. Yeah. Now more than ever, yeah. like teams with losing records can get into the playoffs. One through seven. Okay. Yeah, so there's seven teams. Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. You have the division winners across the NFC and then the entire NFC West getting in. Yeah, exactly. You're going to have the 8-8 eight and eight Cowboys get in to oh, sneak uh, in. Yeah, winning their division. Yeah, exactly. But Assuming uh, they can overcome the Washington football team. Yes. Who's their quarterback now? Brent Haskins. I thought he got like... Former Buckeye. Yeah, I, I knew it was Dwayne Haskins. I thought he got hurt or something. I don't know. I'm just confused. I don't watch their... I've never watched a Washington football team game. Wow. That's a, a badge of honor that you should wear. Probably. Unless I did watch one on Thanksgiving. I mean, what that doesn't count. That doesn't count. It doesn't count because it's Thanksgiving. It was just who were they playing? I was turkey drunk. Was it the Lions? <laughs> we'll yeah. say it was a Lions game. Was that the game where he, like where Alex Smith broke his leg in that horrible oh, way? That was horrible, dude. Yeah. I don't think it was Thanksgiving, but that was yeah, crazy. Almost, like died of sepsis, didn't he? Yeah. Sepsis is spooky. I'll get you. Infection no. in the bloodstream. Not a, not a good look. No, awful. Horrible injuries. We we had some horrible injuries. Did you see that the 49ers were blaming MetLife Stadium? Yes. Their field. They won't they won't let I up. Mean, they weren't satisfied just beating the Jets. They had to make fun of their the field. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> there have been a lot of injuries. That field is hollowed ground. I, w- I would kiss that field. I would take a is piece of that where of the-, the buff fumble happened, Mac? Or is that it? Nah, I think it was the, the Bud Patriot Bumble. Stadium. Gillette Stadium. The oh, yeah. best a man can get. <laughs> the best a man can get. I've been on Dollar Shave Club instead of Gillette. Not a sponsor. Oh. Although, Dollar Shave Club, if you're listening, I got 21 views on a, on a video one time. So, oh. reach out to me. Yeah. Get you a little bit of exposure. <laughs> For free, of course. For free, of course. <laughs> but... How many views do you have to get to have ads? I want ads. You want ads? Uh, I can just keep watching the video over and over again. Okay. I can, okay. I can loop it. Uh, I think you need like a like hundred subscribers and... or more. I think you need a thousand or something. I, I don't think I have that many Gmail accounts, Mac. <laughs> I can't make that many YouTube accounts. <laughs> yeah, but we, we can get a, a little army. Yeah. Can you like purchase YouTube subscribers somewhere? Yeah. the deep I, web? Dude. I'm sure I'm not on the deep web. You could purchase Instagram subscribers, like not subscribers. You could purchase Instagram followers pretty easily. Do you? Do you, you know, you gotta <laughs> stay yeah. even with the. Yes, gotta get my ratio right. The hot babes, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, all the hot babes, all the hot babes, exactly. Uh, but you know, how funny would it be if I just like overnight had like three thousand subscribers? Oh, 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 dude. 
3,000 subscribers. Back like text, 10 views. Hey, I don't have any money to fly back and forth between Chattanooga no. anymore. They were but a, I do have 3,000 YouTube subscribers. <laughs> they were at a mean rate. I'm sure. All the bots. You <laughs> think it's like... Is it like Costco where the more you buy, it costs less? Or I went to Costco for the first time the other day. It's a maze. It's, it's cool. It's a cool place. I have gotten lost in Costco many a time. I almost did. If I didn't have my roommates guiding me, I would have surely right, yeah. been lost forever. Those are huge. Yeah. But, uh... Willem? I think it's time. Here's what I'm going to do. Send off the podcast. With the lovely noise. Everyone? Turn on my microphone. Speakers Is on. considered ASMR? I love it. I love ASMR. <laughs> there was no sound! <laughs>